What's up, sports scene? Today we have a very special guest. We have USC's finest, Kendall Ellis. I know you as my teammate, but most of us know you by your amazing 4x4 finish at the 2018 NCAA Championships in the 4x4 that went viral, that everybody knows. Um, so you've recently signed to New Balance. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And beginning your professional career, what has been the biggest difference in, from the transfer process? Um, I think it's just the independence of it all. You know, I have a lot more free time than I had as a student athlete at SC. So now there's so much more responsibility on me, making sure I'm eating what I'm supposed to eat, making sure I'm doing the extra stuff like abs and core while I'm watching TV and just really having that full independence and that it's kind of all on me now. You don't necessarily have teammates to rely on and keep you accountable. So just the responsibility of it all has been the biggest like transition for me. What has been the best part of your transition? <laughs> Um, I think the flip side of that, the freedom of it all. I just really, really enjoy getting to, you know, come to practice for like four or five hours and then I have the rest of the day to do what I want. And that's, that's great that I don't have classes, I don't have other obligations besides just running track is now my career and that's my, my living and that's all that I have to focus on. That's, that's great. I love that. Absolutely. Now going back to the exciting 4x4 finish. We actually have the clip here today to look back on. Um, passing on the inside. I'm not sure if that was uh, incidental contact necessarily. So but Purdue this finish is was amazing. What, what was going through your head during this? You know, I couldn't time. tell how far ahead Purdue was. So I was just like, stay in the zone, let me run my race and, and, just, and just go for it. And were you expecting? Were you just? Were you expecting to pass her? Was that your goal? What was? What was going through your head during this time? Was it just the pressure of, of winning? What was it? I think it was a lot of adrenaline. You know, Coach Carroll told us beforehand, we win this, we win the entire meet, mm -hmm. and that didn't put any extra pressure on me. That just made me more excited and was like, okay, time to come out here and perform. Mm -hmm. Just do do what we had been training all season to do. Absolutely, and how sweet was that national championship and being such a large feature of that? <laughs> it was great. It was great. You know, I'm glad that it, it brought more attention to the sport itself. You know, once it went viral, people mm -hmm. like were recognizing me, which is awesome, but more importantly, they're watching the sport. You know, whether it's just mm -hmm. a small clip or not, now they know what track and field looks like and what it is, and hopefully they tune in to future meets as well. Awesome. So you have recently signed with New Balance, like we said, yeah. and tell us about the process of signing pro. I think a lot of the time people often just think, oh, you go to college, you perform, you graduate, you move on and go pro. Right. Can you tell us about the realistic <laughs> process of that? And especially the difficulties of that. It's not right. as easy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely um, very difficult. You know, you have to be the best of the best at the very top. And even then, sometimes it can be hard to get a contract because there's only so much money in track and field. Um, so for me personally, it just, it was a very long process, a really stressful one. You know, you go, you find an agent, the agent then goes out and talks to different shoe companies, whether it's Nike, Puma, Adidas, New Balance, and kind of gauges the interest. And from there, um, you pick your shoe company and then you rock with them. But it's definitely a stressful process and not as simple as you ran fast, so here, take this money. There's so much more that goes into it, especially now, like, with social media and um, those kinds of things. They want to see how marketable are you, how engaged with followers are you, are people going to buy the shoes that you're wearing because you're wearing them. And there's just so much more that goes into it now than just running fast. And I'm sure you got the question a lot. Why, what's taking you so long? When are you signing? When are you right. signing? <laughs> what, was, what was your answer to those questions? Was it just, you just had to keep hush or were you really just trying to figure out what's best for you. Right, I think for, for me, I, every time I got those questions, I was already stressed about it and frustrated, so the questions just kind of stressed me out even more because yeah, I have the same questions as you. I wanted to know why it was taking so long and when I was gonna sign. And so usually when I got those, I kind of just deflected and was like, you know, we're still in the talks with the shoe companies, we're saying like, what's gonna work, blah, blah, blah. In reality, like, that's not really what was going on, but. Yeah, that those those questions like stressed me out even more because I had I didn't have the answers for them. Absolutely. What what was the now that you did New Balance Nationals in New York, I believe, right? Yeah. Boston. Boston. Yeah. Right. And um, how was that? Your first oh man professional <laughs> race. It was so fun. It was so fun. Like it's just 
a different, completely different environment, completely different vibe. You know, you're out there like essentially by yourself. Um, so it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was definitely a learning experience. So a lot of independence. I got to choose like when I go to dinner, where I go to dinner, I get to decide what I'm wearing to the meet the <laughs> next day. And it's just so much independence that you really had to be responsible and go to bed at this time, wake up and do your shake out, you know, stick in the same routine that I kind of had in college because that's, mm -hmm. I know that works for me, but it was so exciting. It was so much fun and I was really glad that I got to do it. It was a New Balance meet. So getting to represent my company and come out there with the win, it was just Absolutely. a really, really fun experience that I can't wait to have like for the rest of the summer. What's next for you after the New Balance Nationals? I'll be out here running at Mount Sac Relays. So that's exciting, that's fun, kind of like home turf. And, yeah. and we'll see you there. Yes, exactly. I was like, I get to be with the team. We'll so. get to see you again, kind of be like in a little bit different colors, but, but all in <laughs> we'll team, all Trojans. So. Yes, of course, fight on forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kendall, for joining us today. Thanks for having um, me. And good luck on everything. And we're so excited to see what's next for you. Thank you. Appreciate it.